we need to get the vacuum pump so I can suck all the oil out of the valley. And then, okay, the screen's already been removed. Okay. So you can set the intake gaskets off to the side for now. And the intake everything. Here's the valley after I got it all cleaned out and cleaned up. This is with the screen in place. That's where it goes. And this is when I got the oil cooler set down in there. These are the bolts for that uh, housing for the oil cooler. They're kind of dirty. I'm going to show you guys a real neat trick on cleaning up bolts for if you're working on something and you want to clean all the grime and grit and all that nasty crap off of it so you make your job look as good as possible. I will show you how that's done. Let me get some stuff together and I'll show you. Get you a little container, fill it up with mineral spirits or diesel fuel, and then you want to dump your bolts in it, which I'll put in another clip because it's kind of hard to do holding my phone. And you just want to shake it around with them in there and they'll beat on each other and it'll actually clean them up really nice. I'll show you guys when, it, when I get done. I'm gonna shake it around for a little bit. All right, I shook them all out. Shook them around for a little bit. Now, if you look at them, they're all clean, shiny, look like new, gets all the little crooks and crevices and they look like brand new that's just a little tidbit trick on cleaning stuff up when you're putting it together and it's real nasty and i've got all the passages all plugged up and stuff i'm gonna clean all this crap that is caked on it from that oil cooler going bad and getting oil on it and dust and stuff griming up on it but i'm gonna fix all that i'm gonna clean it all out so it's nice and clean then i'll show pictures of the clean project and we'll finish putting it together a power sprayer that I got we use it for coolant flushes which is this attachment here and then we've also got this cleaning spray wand here which is what I'm going to use on this truck and then I'll show you the end result you guys seen the beginning of it so I'll show you what it looks like when we're done Here's the aftermath after we sprayed it out. That little thing does a pretty good job. Now you want to make sure you get this o-ring put back in it. That is very crucial. There's coolant that goes through there. I forgot one time, the very first one I ever did, and I'll never forget it again because it's a pain to tear everything back apart and put that o-ring back in it. So make sure that o-ring is in it. Right here is the raised part in the intake gasket. 
and you'll want to make sure those are facing towards the inside of the engine, the way from the heads, and they're facing upward. That's the right way to have these gaskets. Now the intake's in. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the rest of the videos on the install on this truck.